G'day, welcome to the Simple Cooking Channel. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I make homemade alcoholic eggnog. Alrighty, get a saucepan and put in three eggs. Once you've put in the three eggs, then put in one egg yolk. Put in a pinch of salt and a third of a cup of sugar. I like to use caster sugar for this. And basically whisk away till it's nice and consistent. Now keep whisking and pour in two cups of milk. Just pour the milk in slowly and keep whisking. Now this is only going to make a very small amount of eggnog. If you're making eggnog for a group of people, I would double or possibly even triple the ingredients that I'm giving you. Now put this on your stove and turn it on to low. And basically just whisk. So what you want to do is as this is slowly warming up, just keep whisking it or stirring it like this for possibly 20-25 minutes. So it's, you want this to get to about 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Now the way to tell when this is ready is you get a spoon and you dip it in and the underside of the spoon should still be coated and it should be holding this onto the spoon. Now when it's ready I'll show you what it looks like so you know when it's ready. Well this is looking ready. Let's have a look. Do is get a spoon, just dip it on top, see like that. And it's it's hanging on there like that, it's ready. Now get a large bowl and get a strainer. And just pour this straight through it. Now the reason for the strainer is occasionally some of the egg may cook a little bit and that's just to get it out. Now it, it very rarely happens but just in case. So it hasn't happened here, so that's been put in there, it looks beautiful. Now pour in one to one and a half teaspoons of vanilla essence or vanilla extract. Sprinkle in about half a teaspoon or so of nutmeg. And I like to put in half a cup of bourbon. And just stir that in. Well, that's pretty much it. Now what we need to do is refrigerate this so it cools probably about four hours and this should be cool. And then we'll start drinking. All right, the alcoholic eggnog has cooled. Just pour it in a glass. Oh, yum. And garnish with a little bit of eggnog on top. And there you go. Well, I hope you like my homemade alcoholic eggnog. Let's go for it. Oh, beautiful. Oh, oh yeah. You can taste the bourbon too. Now if you don't want to have any alcohol in it, just don't add the alcohol. Just keep the recipe the same. That way kids can have it. Um, also, if you want it to be uh, an even thicker eggnog, then add some cream to it. At the end, when once it's um, cooled in the fridge, and just before you drink it, put in, in this mixture, about one third of a cup of thick cream and mix it in very well and then drink it. So you'll have a, a thicker eggnog by doing that. But this is how I like it, so I'll see you next time for my next meal.